Hey there, welcome back. So let's see how we can make use of the selection API in JavaScript to get the selected text from a text area. So we are making use of the selection API and we are making use of the range. So when we select a word, the range is the index. So when we get the index uh, by using the selection start and selection end, these are the two functions that we use to get the index numbers. So once we get the index number, we can actually make use of the index number to get the selected text what we need. Uh, so if I go ahead and this is the selection API docs, I will provide the link for this in the description. You can go through this and then back to the code. So this is the entire code, which does the, uh, this selection process. So when we select a text, for example, let's say a localization, and then you can see the localization select, uh, text has been uh, extracted. So how we can do this? So basically the idea is to add an event listener to, let's say a text area, for example. So let's say we have a text area and I'm adding an event listener, let's say it's mouse up, but you can make use of any event, for example, um, select uh, or any event, it's up to you. But I'm using the mouse up event. So I'm adding this to the text area. And then this particular variable, that's EL, EL will uh, get the current target or the current target is what we are actually making the selection or, or what we are interacting with. So if I console.log the EL, then you will get the idea of what I'm saying. Uh, so if I refresh this and select a word, then you can see the target has been selected. That's the text area. And if I, if I expand this, you can go to the bottom and see what we actually need is the value because what we have, the value has this entire text in the text area. So now that we know what we have to look for, we can focus on the value. Let's do this. So that is what I'm going to do here. I'm going to get the el dot value, and then the substr is the substring function. It's a deprecated. Yeah, you don't have to use this, but I'm just saying. The selection API has this select range. I mean, start selection start and selection end. So once we make use of this, we can get the selected text. For example. What I'm trying to do is just say, let's say I'm going to choose this text. So it will tell us from what index up to what index the text uh, lies. So for example, let's say the selection selecting. So it, it lies from the zero to nine. So we know the index number. If you know the index number, you know how the slicing works. So slicing, if we can make use of the slicing, then we can get this uh, selected text in the back end or even in the front end by using the substring method. And then once we have the index number, uh, we can make use of the substring or there are other functions which does the same thing, uh, which is not deprecated. Substring is deprecated. Um, I don't recommend using it, but yeah, it does work actually. So once I get the sub, uh, select uh, range from where it starts and where it ends, then I can probably, I can of course get the selected text and I'm get, uh, storing that selected text in the uh, selected text, cell text variable. So that's all about how this entire process works. And yes, this is how we can get the selected text from the text area by using the selection API. So I'll provide the, the, the docs link in the description. Yeah, there are many um, detailed ways of uh, doing the same in different ways. Uh, you can read through that, that, of course. So that's it. Thank you all for watching. I hope you find this helpful. And uh, yeah, I will catch you guys in the next video.